I will take the, uh, a second of my valuable time of watching junk on YouTube and trying to get over a fever and uh, talk about this, which just happened yesterday, and which apparently a lot of people found very interesting because I've seen this posted all over the place. Uh, as it turns out, there's a large industry of domain name resellers and they all pay attention to epic and epic's downfall in the last couple of years has kind of been like in a low cow for professionals in the domain name industry it's kind of weird so seeing them put out a statement retracting what they had said about the kiwi farms um was big news in that industry and it's big news to me because it's the first time in a very long time um, probably ever that I have managed to convince, uh, persuade with my uh, guile and uh, charisma to uh, retract what they have to say. Um, I was not, un I have, despite this, I was unable to convince a certain other person um, to do the same. So now that this retraction is out, to not retract uh, their statement, um, that is indication of actual malice which is important to a website like the kiwi farms um when you go to court over defamation so i will once again ask very nicely if someone would like to work with me to undo the damage that has been done um by their statements uh, out of court because now they have no basis whatsoever to continue without a retraction so i'm obviously i'm quite pleased about this um and it's just it's just nice to see, you know, because before it was only a couple, what a couple months ago that everything seemed so hopeless that I didn't really know what to do, and now in about a year everything is, um, kind of turned around, and is improving all the time. So uh, it would be very nice. My my goal was, in case it's not obvious, um, the retraction was part of a settlement, which means that I cannot ask for the retraction and then also sue them. Um, some people seem to think that that would happen. Uh, it's not that they preemptively jumped out of their way to try and placate me. It's that they um, were it came to an agreement with me in regards to this. I did not have to sign an NDA, by the way, so I'm allowed to talk about this. Um, the other part of this is that I have a uh, or will receive a business certified copy of this retraction so that um, I can proceed with litigation if I have to in regards to other people. And then the third thing I asked from them is to help reclaim a domain name that I've lost because they use an intermediary RIR. Um, to uh, or the the intermediary did seize one of our domains, and I still haven't gotten that back, and it's a very big pain in my ass because it's not fair that I don't have this domain. Um, so they've agreed that they'll make reasonable efforts to help me reclaim this domain from the registrars who have uh, stolen it from both of us, effectively. Um, quite frankly, I'm I'm happy because Epic is um, Epic is a failing company. And they've been acquired by a large company, and I don't want to deal with a large company. I would rather focus my efforts on people who are emotionally invested and, for whatever reason, um, trying to censor the Kiwi Farms. And the other people on my list of people I would like to deal with are definitely much more of a personally invested threat on the forum. So Epic just sort of – this is kind of how I wanted it to go. Epic would say, okay, well, let's not deal with the crazy people. Uh, let's get them out of the way, and then I can take that retraction and go after – the actual people um, who have been for years trying to use their influence to illegitimately press a narrative um, that would cause us to be taken down eventually if they were left unchecked. So uh, this is exactly how I wanted things to go. And since um, out-of-court settlements are free, this means they cost us nothing. Um, but the Greer case, you know, the filings there cost money. But in other court, a settlement with Harden, um, that doesn't cost very much at all. Uh, there's certified post involved, but that's not too much. So this is a very effective way of getting very close to what I want very quickly. And I'm very happy about it, even if I don't sound very happy because I'm sick. So I hope everyone has a lovely Tuesday. And hopefully I will be well enough to see you on Friday. So take it easy. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.